For the Cl3 minus Lewis structure, let's add up the valence electrons first. Chlorine's in group 17, sometimes called 7A. It has seven valence electrons. And then we have three chlorine atoms. So we'll multiply that by three. And then this negative up here, it means we have an additional negative charge, an additional valence electron. We're going to just add one, since it's an additional electron, plus one. And that means that seven times three is 21, plus one, 22 total valence electrons for the Cl3 minus Lewis structure. So we have three chlorine atoms. Let's just put them in a line here. We'll put electrons between the atoms first to form the chemical bonds. So we'll put two there. And then we'll go around and complete the octets on the chlorine. We'll do the outside chlorines first, and then we'll move to the inside. At this point, we'll only have used a total of 20 valence electrons. So we have a bit of a problem here. We've completed the octets on the chlorines, but we have two valence electrons left over. That's okay because chlorine can have an expanded octet, more than eight valence electrons. So we can take those remaining two valence electrons and place them on the central chlorine atom. Put them up top here and then rearrange things. So now we've used all 22 valence electrons and we have an expanded octet on the central chlorine. That's okay. And if you calculated the formal charges, you would see that that's the best place for us to have placed those additional electrons, that additional pair of electrons. Our formal charges would give us the negative one on that central chlorine atom. And that makes sense because we have a negative ion, Cl3 minus. So that's the Lewis structure for Cl3 minus. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.